Man, I said this before, and I said it again. That trailer made me mad for Pixar Soul. Everybody come running me talking about, man, Pixar finally got black people up in it. Because keep in mind, Pixar didn't even have no black people in the background for a long time. Sure. Mm. Yeah. One or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specs. <laughs> no speaking lines. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah specs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's like drops of bird turds on your windshield or something. <laughs> Just dots. And then they're going to come bragging about, we got a, we got a, oh, people, we got our first black man. First black man, and they turn around and kill him. I did it. I got the gig. Ah! And ha- you know what? And then laughed about it. Did it in a funny way. Ha huh, ha. Huh? Stupid Negro, look at that. Some Looney Tunes kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, some Looney Tunes shit. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh-huh. Look at that dumb black guy. Got well, the gig. Uh, ah! <laughs> well, what's funny is that there's a 80 years of history of cartoon characters falling down sewer grates and just bouncing away like nothing happened. It's true. Not him. No, <laughs> not him. <laughs> no, this is, this is horror movie logic, Mark. They never applied it here, so I'm sorry. This is the way it has to be. <laughs> That goddamn coyote can fall off the cliff all day long. But you decide to put a Negro in this shit, all, all of a sudden, real world physics apply. Yep. Get the f out of here with the this. Rules, man. It's the yeah. Rules. <laughs> and then gonna turn around, even when we get to see him in the afterlife, he can't even keep his blackness there. Y'all gotta turn that fool into a in, in, into a smurf. <laughs> and it's just that's just blue. <laughs> Damn, trailer even don't wanna play this shit. Look at this. Stepping up in the going into the afterwear with blue balls. <laughs> Look at it. And y'all, I looked at this and I said, Bill, this, this, this is an insult. This man can't stay brown for, 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 for 10 minutes. And y'all got to kill him to even turn him into a main character. <laughs> y'all, y'all got to carry that to the spirit world. <laughs> some, some goddamn Wakanda shit or something going on with that. And then expect me to be like, oh, thank you, Pixar. I sure appreciate what you did for the black folk out there. <laughs> Boy, black communities want to give you a hand job now. Thank you so much. Punk ass Pixar, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad about this. I ain't gonna even lie. I, I'm not hell. I didn't say it out loud because people be like, "Oh, Corey, he mad on that black shit again." I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you and some other people were quite upset about that. I said, "Just on good graces alone, Pixar." They are some of the best storytellers, not just in animation, but in the business. We're on top of that game. As long as they ain't got a talking car in that shit. <laughs> then, <it's, laughs> then we're kind of good. And they can do fish once. I thought about that and said, don't underestimate them. They probably got something up their sleeve they want to do. And seriously, seriously, do you, do you really want to trip up like this with your first predominantly black cast in a Pixar movie? Y'all really want to, y'all really want to sidestep like that? So... I decided to go ahead and give this a chance. Now, if he was real black, you would have heard, motherfucker! <laughs> Get ready. Your life is about to start. This is this is a, a story that when you look at the trailer, you're really not getting a, a whole yeah, There's a lot hand. they leave out. Yeah, There's a lot that they're not telling you here. Mm. So, you know... It, but for the story, you're getting what's happening right here. And even then, they're not, they're only giving you just, just scratching the surface with it. Uh, for this, you got Jamie Foxx as Joe. Joe? Joe Gardner. Joe Gardner. He's a music teacher by the day, not even a full time music teacher. And at night, he's been trying to get this gig with one of the most popular saxophone players in town and her and her trio. And, you know, he's still got his, he's a middle aged man, but still got his mom on his ass talking about, boy, if you don't get out there and get yourself a job with some benefits, a job with some, some uh, uh, with a pension to it. A job with a future. Instead of you trying to get with this music all day, boy, you ain't gonna be no musician like you think you are. You know, get your ass to work. But Joe doesn't believe in trying to get with the system. He still follows his dream until he dies, and he gets sent to the. Well, he's supposed to go to the afterlife, but he gets sent to the great before. After he falls off the escalator taking himself to whatever the great beyond is. 
Which is not look <coughs> pleasant. <laughs> no. It does, well, it does not look pleasant, but people just kind of like, shit, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I ain't going back because they're ready. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's they, why. They, yeah, they, 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 they've accepted death and going to the great beyond sounds fine until it looks like a big bug zapper. <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going to the, the one all-encompassing <laughs> essence. We all become one. It's like, I don't want that. I'd be terrified of that. <laughs> nah, player, you keep that. <laughs> I was kind of cool with it, but yeah, I'm just kind of tired. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly that's why they were fine yeah, with going to it like I'm ready man <laughs> that shit, zap me. that's be one thing yeah, shit, I'm, <laughs> I'm done but he falls off and goes to the place where souls are before they get put into their bodies and he's trying to find a way to get back into his own body because man I just got a big ass gig going on I can't be doing this death shit right now it's happening tonight yeah man. I gotta do this in about <laughs> three hours he figures out a way to probably do that and to do that he might have to fake a mentorship with one of the most difficult souls in the great before 22 voiced by tina fey who says you know what earth like it I ain't gonna <laughs> <laughs> you, you keep that shit yeah. <laughs> you mean i can sit up here and feel no pain and float all day and do why the hell i want to go down there now nah, you can keep that but meanwhile everybody in the great before like yeah get her hands on her I mean, everybody's tired of her she just made she's she's made every famous iconic soul that's come through here he made them either get pissed or made them cry so do what you can and maybe we can see what we can do getting you back down to earth and that's the tricky part 22 is the most annoying and difficult soul to have ever walked the great before and if joe wants to get back down there well he's gonna have to make her just slightly less difficult which is difficult upon itself so uh if you're going in this expecting and you just heard all this stuff about the great before and the afterlife and all that kind of stuff, if you go in this expecting a quote unquote, you know, black film, that's not exactly what you're going to get. 